There's no other way around it. You are surrounded by a bunch of selfish people. And the sad thing is, the person that's closest to you is the most selfish of them all. And you know I'm speaking the truth. You know those are facts. I need you to dig deep, stand up for yourself, and stop allowing that person to make you feel bad when that person is the villain in your movie. You cannot have a person that tries to put themselves above everything that you have going on in your life. When they're trying to get you to do things for them when you should be doing for yourself, they're trying to get you to do things for them when you should be doing for your kids. You know, good and doggone well is not right. Some things are simply cut and dry. And when a person is so shallow, so self-centered, that they will ask you to do certain things when it's just obvious that that's not the right thing for you to do. And you're so selfless, and you're so nice, so gullible, that you actually give it thought. You actually think about, well, maybe, no. Shut that ignorance down. Let me give you a real world example. I got a call from a young lady the other day. Her little baby's in the hospital. Of course, being a great mother, she's gonna stay with her baby at the hospital. Well, the guy she was dating was upset about it. They actually got into an argument because he wanted her to come home and leave her kid in the hospital by himself. What kind of sense does that make? What kind of selfish person are you dealing with that can't take a second, a moment, to put themselves aside and think about the greater good and think about what just makes common sense? That's what you're dealing with. That's who you're dealing with. Come a little closer so you can hear me. Turn the lights on when I'm talking to you. If you're dealing with a selfish person, you need to leave that selfish person by himself. You need to leave that selfish person by herself. Because selfish people never, ever, ever consider how their actions will affect you their own happiness, their own convenience, is all that matters. So allow me to reiterate. Allow me to say this again. Shut it down. You have that kind of power. For far too long, you have been way too selfless. Just giving in and giving in and giving in. Well, now it's time for you to be a little selfish and pull that person to the side and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Doesn't even have to be a long, drawn-out argument or anything like that. It's simple. You tell that person, you got to go. We ain't got to argue about this. But for far too long, I've been giving in and giving all of me to all your little silly requests that made me feel less than that made me feel worthless. And I'm standing up for me. And now it's about me. So now I'm gonna be selfish and remove you and allow you to be by yourself. So I can live in peace by myself and do me and be happy with me. And when you say that, are they gonna come back at you and say something like, why you tripping? I thought we was happy. You changed. I want you to look them dead in the eye. Look that person dead in the eye and say, you know what? I didn't change. I just found myself. And my dealing with ignorant, selfish people meter is on overload. That person is the villain in your life. And any movie where there's a villain, ultimately, that villain has got to go. And that selfish person in your life has got to go. And once you stand tall and put yourself first and eliminate the ignorance, you will find yourself climbing over the hump of all that selfishness and all that selfish ways to make each and every day of your life a Wednesday.
And guess what? This is a great day to win. Let's go.